It'll be all right, Mum. Mum! Just keep his hand up. I said get an ambulance! I'll do it. You'll be all right, Roy. You can give us an hand if you like. No, thanks. Why don't you get lazy cow Marilyn to do it? I'm not letting her near my pigs. Well, you don't mind her going near your dad. So sure, he's big enough to look after himself. Look, your dad's been to Ellen back. He's what you call very vulnerable. He's what you call a randy old goat. Oh, a man spurned is a man who'll find any port in a storm. Psychology of human nature is that. I'll stick to it, pigs. <laughs> I just wonder if the novelty of the gourmet nights will wear off. No, we've got to build on it. And word of mouth's probably the best advertising we've got. And it's cheap. Did you want something, Betty? Well, I'd just like to take an interest. Of course, and you're a bit of an expert, aren't you, Betty? <laughs> In word of mouth. Hey, just remind him that he's only the casual cook, you know. He's no right to talk to your longest serving member of staff like that. How's David been in? You're supposed to meet me. We're just about to shut up shop. I'll have a pot of tea. Can you see if you've got any cakes, I fancy? So, going back to these... Um, I wouldn't mind some advice, Cathy. Do you mind we're having a meeting? David and I are nest-making. It's very exciting. As I was saying, we have to build on our success, so... Well, it's just whatever you want to do, I know that I can You're pretty you. adept at making a silk purse out of a sow's ear. <sighs> what are you getting at? We're staying at Annie Sugden's cottage. Just temporary. How on earth do you make a shoebox habitable? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, name Nanny looks Look, quick. Look, he's getting near to us. Tell him he's lost a couple of fingers and he's losing blood. OK, uh, um, it's Hallgate's farm. Um, yeah, circular saw. Right, hold his hand up. <laughs> Wrap this one in tightly. Keep the pressure on the wrist. <laughs> what are you doing? What's happened? It's a saw. Ambulance will be 20 minutes or more. But we can't wait that long. Look, I'll take him in, Van. Van, I'll have him there before they even get here. Oh, go on then, quick. Dad. Go on. Dad. You stay here with him, David. We'll manage. Come on, I'll give you a lift up front. What's for tea, then? Whatever you make, our man is going here, well. I've been working all day. Oh, yeah, you'll do for Frank Tate, but you won't do for me. He pays me. There are more important things in life than money. Here we all are, then. Oh, where have you been? Oh, have you missed me? I have. It was like the sun went behind a cloud. Shut it, Dad. I've been taping in the scenery. I can't get enough of it. You've noticed. You love it here, don't you? Mm, does it show? You belong. I've never felt more at home in all my life. Well, then, you'll know where the spuds and the chip pan are kept. You can do tea. Of course I will. Hey, what a woman, eh, Sam? Come on, then, tea. I'll make the chips. You watch. And then you'll know how to next time. Here, get this down you. Come on. Do you reckon it'll be all right? I should never, ever let him near it. Dad, it's done now. It's down to me. What's been going on outside? Boy's well, cut himself on saw. Bad? Mum and Linda have gone with him to hospital. Oh, I'll take you down there. Come on, I've got Land Rover. Hi, OK. How you coming, Dad? It'll do no good. Mum and Linda will be there. Two more won't make it any better. They need us. They need you. Now, come on. I know a bloke got his ear bit off in a fire once. They were going to sew it back on. They can do wonders, medical science. Yeah, well, not in this case, it can because the guy that had bit it off, well, well, he swallowed it. Well, just belt up and drive, but. What's that? Well, plans for an office conversion in Newcastle. Way, man, it's not bad, is that? <laughs> you never could do accents. Dinner will be a while. I was going to finish off the salad in the fridge. <laughs> Since when? 
Well, I'll go and watch telly till it's ready, then. No. Come and sit with us. Oh, come on. Look, I've said you can stay. We don't have to be all matey. I know. There's some white wine in the fridge. Oh, you shouldn't have. I know. It was the best in the post office. Vic Windsor told me. Cool blimey, girl. You might be a dyke, but you sure knows your plonk. <laughs> Frighteningly accurate. Oh, glad I've caught you. Fancy slipper? Uh, don't worry, mineral water for me. I've still got a cabinet full of the stuff that you fancy. Not tonight, Dad. Uh, Chris, forget wills and inheritance. Can't we just sit down and have a drink together? I want to catch Joseph before he goes to bed. Of course. And I've got a lot of work to be doing. You don't want to overdo it, lad. I'll see you in the morning. Just it. Somebody's been having a good thing in budget set out. Did you see them? No, but it was freshly dug, wasn't it? Uh, won't they leave anything alone on this estate? I'd love to get my hands on them. Next time we get the police in, I don't want any heroics from either of you. Taking stuff up pot, I can understand. But it's not theirs to take. I know all about that, but badger baiting, I don't think you can sink lower. See you then. I don't suppose either of you two lads would like to come in and have a drink? Well, I'm my own boss now, and it's a poor show if I can't ask the lads in for a drink. Uh, thanks, Frank, but um, I've got to go and collect Alice. I'd love to, Mr Tate. No to give me greater pleasure. Only Betty gets twitchy if I'm late for my tea. Since. Don't worry about it. Another time, eh? I'll give a fair warning. Definite. Looks like it's just you and me, Peg. Right, I should do it. I'll okay. see you later then, Kathy Love. Yes, night, Betty. Hi, Betty. Must be nice for you. Setting up a new home, baby to look forward to. Can't imagine how happy we are. It's funny the way things turn around. A few months ago, I'd have given anything to be in your position. Well, at least we can talk now. It's the last thing I wanted, to hurt you. Neither of us did. Now, in my small way, I'm the successful businesswoman. And you're in the rented shoebox, expecting a child of uncertain pedigree, living with a young man who's got a roving eye and no proper job. Aren't you going to finish your tea, Kim? You in here, old butchwa? I knew we'd get to work right one day. The blood all over the place. Could I go look? Don't be so daft. You just watch yourself, Zach Dingle, when you're in here, so. I don't want you losing any bits. Aye, I'd look well. You carry my man on a packet of frozen peas. <laughs> Do you mind? What's that? Fish fingers. There. You'll be all right. That's just what it looked like. Royd Lover's hand. Hi, Zoe. Fine. I just wondered whether you'd like to uh, come up and have a spot of supper. Packet of crisps, bottle of pop. Oh, no, not if you're just about to eat. We'll make it later in the week. Great. Oh, I'm terrific. Yeah. Bye, love. I couldn't remember if you took sugar. Oh, it's OK. Ah, right, just hold that and I'll get you a change. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, thanks. Mrs Glover, we're going to need to transfer Roy to Leeds. They have the facilities for microsurgery there. Oh, God. How is he? They're taking him to another hospital. Will they be able to save his fingers? I can't really say at this stage. Circular saws are vicious machines. I suppose no matter what you say, youngsters can't resist messing with them. You go with me, ma'am, in ambulance. I'll go. No, love, you go home. You look old. I'll come. It won't be room. We'll fit the pair of you in. I'll be all right. I mean, there's not anyone can do. Damage has been done. Perhaps I should go and see Dad. We're just about to have dinner. 
I think he's lonely. Is that the best excuse you can come up with? Susie is making an effort. I don't play games. What do you think? Oh, it looks wonderful. I can't vouch for the taste. It'll be great. Better than three-day-old salad, eh, Zoe? Definitely, I'm impressed. Uh, haven't you forgotten something? I followed the recipe to the last grain of salt. Like plates? And I was doing so well. <laughs> I'll get them. I'll get that. Can you deliver my ring back? Hello? No, I'm sorry, the surgery's closed. Yes. OK. Thank you. Hello, Zoe Tate speaking. Yes. Yep, I'll be right there. Don't take it personally, Susie. She makes a habit of walking out the moment dinner arrives on the table. And I'm choking on some bailing string. I'll be quick as I can. I better get off to work. Still can't believe him. My own father. Oh, I'll leave him to it. Lunchtime, he tells me I'm still out at the will. Tea time, he suggests a cosy drink. Well, at least you'll be your own man. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you won't have to be grateful to him. I'm not talking about some favour he's handing out. I'm talking about what's mine by right. Look, Chris, the only thing you've got by right is your life. And you're wasting yours, obsessed with what your father's going to do next. Why don't you do something for yourself? Oh, I see. Like Steve. High-fying, self-possessed, whiz-kid Steve. It's simply a matter of going for it, isn't it? Just like you're going to do with this job he's offered you. What's that got to do with it? You're tempted, aren't you? Aren't you? Why should my life stop at the front door or at the Woolpack Bar if I'm lucky? You'd better be getting there. Yeah, I am. But you might just like to bear in mind that things might be a bit better between us if you valued me a bit more. Mm, like Steve does. Oh, don't be such a child. What did you say? The sequel. Frank and Kim get married again. Frank and Kim go on holiday. It'll do, Beth. What is the phone from hospital? I want a drink, David. All right. Go with him, Dave. I'll have to tell Kim what's going on. I'll catch you with him later on. You look as though you could do with a drink. Just get me home. Do you know, I could shake my dad sometimes. He's like a big soft kid with that Marilyn. He just wants a bit of company with the opposite sex. We all do. Speak for yourself. You go out with fellas. Wish I could cop from like you do. I can take him or leave him. I bet who's it tries it on with you. Take. He knows what I'd say. Yes, please. You get worse. Do you know I used to hate him? What he did to us over the eviction. But it wasn't him. It was that wife of his. I know. How could Dave Glover go for something like her? What, were you ready and waiting? Why not? <laughs> nah, he's all right, is Frank T. Mm, he's rich. He's the only one round here who'd give me a job. And before you say it, he doesn't want out in return. Yet. Oh, look, there's Ned. Let's see if it's right about Roy. Hey, Viv. I was just going to say Ned's still a bit upset over it. It's true, then? Aye, maybe he's best left alone. Oh, yeah, right. I'll tell you what, I'll bring your drinks over to you. Oh, yeah, thanks. It's good of a minute, Vic. Right, here you are. No, on me. No, there's no need. Why can't I buy my mates a drink? Thanks. Gonna kiss the wife now? No. no. I'll have another large one, please, Alan. I think I'd want a couple of stiff brandies if I'd seen that happen to my son. No, oh, you're not likely to, are you? Because you don't see your lad from one year to the next. Rachel just been telling us about your Roy. Is he serious? How, how did you do it? My son's just lost half his hand, Nick. What do you want me to do, draw your picture? I'll get that. We're over there if you want him. I was only asking. He finds a bit of please, Nick. Step it's then. Who?
where the hell have you been? Hang on. If this is the way you think it's going to be, you better think again. Just because you've got me now doesn't mean to say you can go back to being one of the lads. Leaving the little lady stuck at home while you please yourself. Have you finished? I won't be treated like that. And where are you going now? I'm going back to Woolpack to see me old fella. Cos our Roy's in hospital having an emergency operation and me dad can't handle it. David... Well, you didn't give me a chance to say, did you? Is that what you really think of me? I'm sorry. What's happened? You tell me. I bet you're knackered, aren't you? Now, Dave said you were brilliant today. Dead calm the way that you handled everybody. They reckon they wouldn't have coped without you. I know I wouldn't. Linda? I'm cold. All I can see was his hand. It was awful, Biff. It was awful. I know. Come on. I wish I thought Bob was. You sure that's them will beat you up? Yeah. Well, I think so. It would dark. Everything I do, I make a mess of. We all feel like that sometimes. I can't be much of a father. Of course you are. I've let you all down, Dave. I've let you down badly. Will you give it a rest? It's the eel talking. No, it's not. It's me talking and I'm telling the truth. Your mum blames me and she's right and all. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, will you? You're getting on me wick. See? I'm hopeless. You ready for home, then? I can't. I can't face your mum. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not going home. Oh. Give me strength. Hey, maybe my uncle Zach and Frank Tate could start their own lonely arts club. Yeah, you could join and all. Thanks, cousin. At least my dad's got his family around him. I mean, we'll be there long after that tart Marilyn gives him the elbow. Who's Frank got? And Chris had drop him blind, given half the chance. And where's that Zoe when he needs her? Oh, Artina, you're the only one he can turn to in his hour of need. That's right. Where are you going? I bet it was them who were after badgers. I said, I don't care about the badgers. They humiliated me. And I'll never forget what they did to you. You got a problem? Yes, you. That sounds like fighting talk. You need teaching a lesson, mate. You could have killed him. You must be thinking of someone else. You want to take him home, Grandad, before he gets in trouble? We've got a lot of mates in here. Are you threatening me? Just leave us alone. That's all I want to do. Have a nice, quiet drink. You don't know where I can get a nice trout supper. Hey. I'll kill you. Did you hear what he said, that oh, just calm down, everyone. He just went for me. What's the problem, Nick? I don't care what his problem is. I don't want any fighting in here. Come on. You can't let them get away with this. These are the ones that attacked me and Seth. Is that true, Seth? I can't be sure. Of course you can't. We never did now. Where's your phone? I want to call the police. Drop it, lad. Come on, help me get me down. Oh, come on, Nick. I think it's best that you drink up and leave. Fair enough, pal. We don't want to cause any trouble. I'm going to get you. Get out. Of course you will, son. Oh, it's you. Don't worry, I'm not stopping. Must be a family trait not knowing when to clock off. I'm just back from a call. Do you uh, want a drink or something? No, I don't want to hold you up. I just wondered if you'd seen Dad today. He rang earlier. He sounded a bit down. When I saw him, he was fine, full of himself. Well, I think it's getting to him, being by himself. Is that what he said? Well, it's not his way. He hates self-pity. I just thought if you were at a loose end, you might appreciate a bit of company. Can't you go? Not really. I've got a meal drying out for me at home. Susie's prepared it specially. And it wouldn't do to let down your girly chums, would it? What's the matter with you? Nothing. Apart from spending most of my evening on the stairlift, singing to Joseph and trying to sort out the quarterly figures. You know, just a little matter of keeping home farm functioning, trying to protect your inheritance and all that. And what do you mean by that? Well, you're all right either way, aren't you? Look, don't take it out on me. 
I just came here to see no, you. No, you've gonna really spend... got it sussed. Dad knows he can rely on you for the really important things like sending him birthday cards and reminding him to, to get the dog vaccinated. What is your problem? I could hit you sometimes. You better join the queue. How is he? We've moved him to the recovery area. Oh, can I see him? He's still unconscious at the moment, sleeping off the anaesthetic. But the operation was successful. We have managed to reattach the fingers. Oh, thank God. But it will be some time before we know whether the healing process is going to be satisfactory. You were a strong lad there, Mrs. Glover. And thankfully, someone acted quickly in packing the fingers in ice. My daughter. I think that gives him a better than even chance. Well, thanks, Doctor. Why don't you go home, get some rest, see him in the morning? I'll wait. Casey needs me. I'll get someone to fix you up with a cuppa. Oh, I haven't slept through, have I? Oh, what are you doing here? Um, I left my keys. Well, how'd you get in without them? Do you want a cup of tea? I'll put the kettle on. No, no, I'll do it. And you can tell me what you're really doing here. Yeah, I'll tell David as soon as he gets in. I'll give our love to Roy. OK. Bye. Ow! What? I told you to hold him. What are they doing here? Look, William, I'm off. Yeah, see ya. What's wrong with him? He's legless. Oh, brilliant. Well, I couldn't just leave him propped up in Winter's shop doorway, could I? Why not? Where are you going? Bed. Your mother rang. The operation went well. Oh, great. Dad. Dad, did you hear that? How are you going to be all right? <clears throat> For heaven's sake. I know I shouldn't have just turned up. I wasn't up to anything. I didn't think for a minute you were. I'm glad you did, though. I've made a decision tonight. I'd be interested in your opinion. I've decided to go away for a bit on holiday, San Lucia. It's about time you saw sense. Really? Well, I mean, you've got all that dough, and yet you're stuck here while people keep having pops at you. If I were you, I'd be long gone. I do intend coming back. Well, at least you're going. That's summer. You know, you've got enough to make your dreams happen. It doesn't work like that. Only because you let other people mess you about. One of the things that's driven me on is so I can share it with people. They don't appreciate it, Frank. I suppose you would. It doesn't matter whether I would or not. We're talking about you. Not entirely. I want you to come with me. Oh, aye. I'll just nip home and pack me cosy. I mean it, Tina. Will you come away with me? Who says that's why he's asked me? Well, what other reason would a bloke Frank's age after asking a 19 year old girl to go to the Caribbean with him? My charming company, my witty back chats, my pleasant disposition. Ah, pull the other one. It's got bells on. You're just jealous, man. Yeah. I don't suppose there's uh, any chance of wangling me an invite, is there? To whose company? Oh, I could do cooking. I know what he likes to eat. Monday, it's a five star hotel. I think the chef will be able to cook. Hey, what's all this about uh, motels? Mm, our Tina's off to West Indies. Get away. Where'd she get money for that? Frank's it. It's 
Since taking a fancy to her. Chick, 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 chick. This place really isn't big enough for you to invite your family to stay. It was only the one night. You know the circumstances. I thought farmers were supposed to be up with a lark anyway. He's not used to drinking that much. He got in a right state about Roy's accident. He blames himself. Well, so he should. It was his negligence. That's the law. Mistakes happen. Well, drinking's no answer. I lived with an alcoholic. I know. If Roy's handicapped for life because of his stupidity, he needs to find a better way of dealing with it. Sorry about that, Dad. Don't be. Because she's right. It is all my fault. I've told you, you're not going. Dad! I'm not having a daughter man off with some pervert who's old enough to be a father. Grandfather, even. It's none of your business. It's my life. You are my daughter. You live under my roof. That's one of the attractions of getting away. You're just sore because I'm getting the chance of things you'll never have. You've been out better than I know her. It's not like that, Dad. It's just a lonely man who needs some company. Hmm. She's not going, I'll volunteer. Sounds to me as if he's got enough bags to take on holiday already. Hey, come back here. I've not finished with you yet. I can't stop. Got holiday shopping to do. Oh, you're wasting your breath. She's made up her mind. Is breakfast ready? Not unless you've made it. We're going for a walk. Women always seem to be walking out on you. I suppose she'll not get very far in them fluffy mules, though. She'll be back. <laughs> Worst luck. That was Jack on phone. Wondered if your dad were at hospital this morning. He really hasn't turned up for work? No. I wonder where they got to last night. I just hope he hasn't done anything stupid. Faith, lucky I saw you. You can tell Frank that I'm going to be late for work today. I doubt whether he'll be pleased to hear that. Why don't you tell him yourself? No, you won't mind. Me and him are going to the Caribbean together. Just tell him that I'm shopping for the skimpiest bikini I can find. And I'm sure he'll forgive me anything. Tell me I didn't hear that. I wish I could. Frank's finally lost his marbles. Look what she did to Luke, and he never even had an heart condition. Profits up, cost down. You've done well. Glad you're pleased. So pleased, I'm going to leave you in sole charge for a few weeks. I've booked a holiday to the West Indies. Well, that's the best news I've heard in ages. The rest will do wonders for your health. Yep, I'm feeling better already. I'm taking Tina Dingle with me. Is this some sort of joke? No. There's a messenger coming round later with the tickets. You can't go on holiday with Tina Dingle. Can you imagine the gossip in the village? <laughs> Vividly. Can't you see she's just after your money? I don't think so. Mind you, there are a few people who can't wait to get their hands on it. <coughs> Could you have a word? We're busy. Of course you can, sir. Looks like them rough necks are up to no good again. Yeah, they were in the pub last night, and uh, this morning the badger sets have been disturbed, haven't they? Well, we've got more important things to worry about. Badgers are a protected species. Now, you tell Chris all about it. Because he's in charge now. Yeah, I never realised how much I'd miss the dancing. I was just starting to really enjoy it. Uh, just forget it, Terry. It caused enough trouble last time. It went half, but Kelly got wrong end at stick. Uh, well, I'm not surprised. I don't know how the kids ever learn the difference between right and wrong the way the adults carry on round here. We did not wrong, Betty. No, I wasn't talking about you. I mean the other eternal triangle round at the vets. So three women living together like that. Not natural. I must say I'm inclined to agree with you there, Betty. And then there's that brass neck Kim Tate moving in with David Glover and she's still married to Frank. Honestly, I'll tell you, this village makes Peyton Place look like Toy Town. Thanks very much. So it's important. Holiday tickets for me and Tina. Oh, it's true then. Yeah, you can tell Betty to put it in her next news bulletin. Don't worry, Mr. Tate. Your secret's safe with me. I know how to be discreet. Don't be daft, Seth. Betty would never forgive you holding on to a juicy tidbit like this. I wouldn't want to spoil her fun. Don't you worry, eh? What? Things that folk have said. People have been gossiping about me, Seth, ever since I came to this village. 
difference is this time I intend to enjoy every minute of it. I told you we'd ordered too many Easter eggs, but you wouldn't take any notice of me, would you? You're so pig-headed. Look, it's not my fault if everyone in the village goes on a diet. Oh, I see. What's your excuse for Christmas cards? We've got dozens of boxes of them left over. Yes, they'll be very useful come December. And I suppose all that Olympic junk you've just ordered would be very useful in the year 2000. Bet you're five we don't get rid of it now. What is this? Have a go at Vic Day. Are you a trouble? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. You've got unrealistic ambitions. You treat this place like 200 branches of Woolworths instead of the tin pot village shop it is. There's no harm in thinking big. All I'm trying to do is give our customers a service, make sure we got what they want when they want it. You got our order wrong again this morning. Oh, sorry. Hard to keep up with everyone. They keep moving around the village so much. Country life, horse and hound, the telegraph every day and the mirror for David. You ought to start taking a DIY magazine. Be useful now you haven't got a staff to do it all for you. You got any suntan lotion? A uh, third shelf down at the back. Expecting another summer like last year? No. Where I'm going, it's guaranteed to be up. Hell, I hope. No, the West Indies. Frank's taking me. You'll find some support tights over there. I hear they come in very handy when things start to sag through pregnancy. Where have you been? I've stopped to tell our dears. Well, you might have told us. We've got enough to worry about without you. And Jack phoned this morning when he didn't turn up for work. I couldn't face it. I told her about our Roy. Oh, funny way of showing it. It might have been better if you stopped around to help out. Me and Biff were up first thing this morning trying to get the place straight when Mum gets back. Cleaning up the mess. Oh, so Biff stayed last night, did he? Yeah. That is typical, isn't it? As soon as my back's turned... Don't you start on me. Just because you feel guilty about what happened and you want to take it out on someone. I am not listening to any more of your lectures about how to run my life. Not when I've seen the mess you made of your own. <laughs> hey? Charitable wink. Kids turn against you, isn't it? I've been getting the same sort of grief at home. What do you want, Zach? I heard about Roy's accident. Thought you might fancy a bevy. Cheer yourself up a bit. There you go, Betty. And uh, something for yourself. Oh, that's very generous of you, Frank. Tate seems disgustingly cheerful with himself. I'm not surprised. He's taking our tina up the West Indies. Can we have some service around here, please? In a minute, in a minute. Knowing your tina, she'll have her hands on his wallet before the plane's even taken off. Can I have some currants? Alice, please, one minute. I'm just trying to sort out the bread order. You'll never believe what's happened now. The rest of the bread delivery has arrived? No. Frank Tate is going to take Tina Dingle on holidays to the West Indies. I'm bored with this. Gino, this place gets more like a red light district every day. Sodom and Gomorrah ain't in it. I'm sorry, Betty. I haven't got time for this moral outrage. It's enough trying to cope with Alice and this stupid bread order. Alice, how would you like to help me decorate some fairy cake? Yes, please. And if you're a good girl, you can have a couple yourself. Come on. Thanks, Sean. He's brilliant with kids. Yeah, well, it's nice to know that some folk have got the priorities right. I reckon a few weeks alone with Tina Dingle's going to be the last show for Frank's art. Uh, what a way to go, though. Will you forget about Frank and Tina and start thinking about catching these poachers? Well, you weren't such a great success last time you tried. And I don't fancy getting beaten up again. Yeah, well, next time I intend to pay them back for what they did to you and oh, me, Seth. Come on, they can run. They're going to be using them badges for baiting. Now, it's a nasty business and they're nasty people. You're better off calling coppers. They don't scare me, Biff. I think we should sort this one out ourselves, Seth. If anyone sees Tina Dingle, tell her she's to be in my office at 12.30. Yeah, all right, Chris, but can we talk about these badgers, please, at some point? I've got to be getting to the bank. Look, I told you, call the coppers, let them deal with it. I'll call them. If any of you lot can come up with concrete evidence, there really is something going on. You see, it's down to us. Are you going to tuck us in, love? I'll tuck you in if you like. I won't be quite the same, ma'am. I always fancied them nurses. I can need something to do with that uniform. You're obviously getting better. Should have you home soon. No, I'm still getting a lot of pain. I can need to be in here for a good few weeks yet. Nonsense. Home's the best place for rest and recovery, and me and Linda can look after you as well as any nurse. And don't worry. I'll make sure nothing like that is ever going to happen to you again. 
Uh, but it wasn't really my dad's fault, Mum. He should have made sure that saw had a guard on. He can just count himself lucky owling to save the day, or I'd never have forgiven him. It ain't been easy for me since Nella left. You still miss her, then? Need a woman around the house. I think you've got one. Huh? Marilyn. Ah. I don't know where she's wandered off to this morning. Serious, is it? Well, kids don't like her. But a man needs company sometimes. <laughs> Do you know, Zach, you can have your whole family around you and still feel alone. Eh? We were behind with the rent. We were sewing the logs up, turning next to fuel Bob. Then our royalties accidents, and everybody blames me now. Heard about Roy's accident. I was wondering if there was anything I could do. You mean you're checking up on me because I didn't turn in this morning? Well, I didn't expect to find you drinking. You ought to be at the hospital. They don't want me there. They all think it's my fault. Pull yourself together, Ned. This isn't going to do anyone any good. Come on, I'll drive you over there. Why don't you drive him? I can drive myself, thank you. Not in your state, you can't. See, Zach? Nobody trusts me anymore. Well, I don't need you telling me what to do. I'm going to smash that thing up. Hang on, Ned, don't do anything stupid. Get off me, Zach. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Come on, Ned, this is no answer. Biff said you wanted to see me. Yes, close the door. Hope this ain't going to take long. I've got a busy day. I can imagine. My duties have got nothing to do with you. I work for your dad. I know exactly what you're up to, Tina. Well, if you're that much of an expert, feel free to come and help me in the kitchen sometime. Don't try and be funny. Oh. Well, if you want to take me, you're going to have to wait your turn. I'm fully booked at the moment. Look, I'm not going to get into a row about this. No. I'm going to deal with it in a business way. Money. That's what you're after. You'd probably see my father as an unlimited source. The closer you get to him, the more you get. But it might not work out like that, Miss Dingle. No? See, I know him better than you do. And the moment he sees through you, you're out. You could do a lot better dealing with me. What did you have in mind? Well, you can carry on working here if you like. While you're at home farm, I can keep an eye on you. But I want you to cancel your ticket to St Lucia. Just name your price. The rest is haggling. Well? That'll do. I needed a new suitcase for the holiday. We'll send you a postcard. I'm doing this on one condition. We don't breathe a word to Becky. She will spare. Seth, stop worrying about it. We're not going to let them put one over on us again. This time we're going to get them. What are you two up to? We've got some unfinished business. With some poachers to catch. Well, that's a relief. When I saw the shotgun, I thought Chris Tate had hired you as it, man. You calm down now. I don't know, mate. It's all such a mess. I don't know where to start. Well, you're going to have to report the accident to the health and safety. And that just make things worse. No point asking for trouble, eh, Zach? Marilyn? Yeah, I've got to go. <laughs> Marilyn! Hey, wait, go! <laughs> If you don't report it and they find out about it, it'll be even worse. I remember Donna's tractor accident. Well, that wasn't even my fault, but it was on my land, so I ended up carrying the can. Do you know, Jack, I thought this place was the best thing that ever happened to us, you know, the fresh start we always wanted. But I've ended up letting everybody down. Well, you get it sorted, Ned. <laughs> so, first job's getting you cleaned up and some black coffee down you. Then we'll get off to the hospital. Come on. Come to see if it's that I could do. You know, if you'd spent a bit more time helping your dad get this place up and running, and a bit less messing around with Kim Tate, he wouldn't be in this state. I was worried about you. Where were you? Walking. 
taking in the glorious Yorkshire days. All morning? Why not? I'm an ardent nature lover. Besides, I don't have to answer to you about where I go or what I do. I don't like jealous men. I didn't mean any harm, Marilyn. But maybe you could check me next time. I like to commune with nature alone. Sometimes. Got anything planned for this afternoon? Not especially. Good. Because I've got a few ideas of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see we're in tea rooms this morning. That's a funny place to commune with nature. Looked to me like she was just stuffing cream cakes down a gob. Poor old Zack. It's no fool like an old fool. See that the Glavers get this card. Tell them if there's anything I can do, I'll be glad to help. OK, Frank. You too. Thanks, Tina. About this holiday. Getting cold feet. There's been a lot of talk. I never let village gossip worry me. It's not just the village. Chris called me into the office about it. He had no right. He offered me money to pull out. I see. Well, don't you worry about it, Tina. I'll deal with Chris. Thanks. But I wanted you to know that it's not like they think. I'm not a gold digger. I know that. This holiday means a lot to me. I've never been anywhere like that before. I'm really excited. And it's you that's given me the chance. I wouldn't do anything to spoil that. Tina, I asked you because you're good company and I know we'll have a great time. That's all that matters. The village gossips can go hang. Tea's finished. Will you shut up, moaning Seth? I haven't seen a sign on them all afternoon. It's five o'clock. Time to go home. Look, we're not going anywhere until we catch them. They're scum, Seth, and handing them over to the police is too good for them. I'll give it another hour. But just keep your eyes peeled. I can't believe how quickly that girl's got her claws into Frank. What's it matter? You're divorcing him. Oh, don't be naive, David. We haven't reached a settlement yet. The way Tina Dingle's going, she'll have moved our blooming family in by then. They'll be renaming home farm Dingle Towers. Forget about them. We're happy here. In a pokey little cottage. Uh, yeah, well, at least that's something I can change. I've been on to the estate agents. They promised to find us something more suitable. Well, at least that way we'll have a spare room next time you have a family crisis. You didn't exactly make my dad feel welcome last night. The state he was in, I'm surprised he noticed. Besides, he's never gone out of his way to be friendly to me. It's not easy, Kim. I'm hoping one day they'll accept us as a couple. But just at the moment, they're too bound up in their own troubles to worry about anything else. I thought you'd understand that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've got a lot on my mind, too. Whatever you think of them, they're still my family. I can't turn me back on them when they're in trouble. I know. I'd better go and see if there's anything I can do. Are you coming? Like you said, they haven't exactly come to terms with me yet. It's probably best if you went on your own. You don't mind? No, I've got a few problems of my own to think through while you're gone. Thanks, Kim. I love you. I love you too. How are you feeling, son? A lot better, thanks. No thanks to you. Look, I'm sorry about everything. I mean that. I'll be here like a proper burk. But you've no need to worry about anybody else getting hurt with that saw, cos I'm going to get Des to come down and smash it up. What? We're up to our ears in debt. That's a valuable piece of machinery. Now, we could sell it. What's the matter with you? I thought that's what you wanted. It's not about the saw. It's about Roy. You should have been looking after him. You see what I mean, Jack? I can't do anything right here. Look, I don't want to interfere, but young Roy's had a lucky escape. Now, that's something we can all be glad of. I doubt he wants to hear you rowing at his bedside. That's right. Maybe we should count our blessings before we start round two. Well, that suits me. That's a relief. Here, your Dad, you want to see that ward sister? She's a right cracker. That's if she wanted to come with pictures with me. What'd she say? She told him he'd have to wait till he were old enough to take her to X films. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Hey, 
you go, Beth. Cheers, Beth. Well, here's to my little sister, hero of the hour. Yep, I'll drink to that. Oh, don't be daft. Oh, come on, don't be so modest. It was you that saved your Roy. Yeah, all we've got to do now is think of a way of saving Dad from himself. The best way to do that is make sure the farm don't go under. I know I haven't been round much lately. Yeah, you've been too busy elsewhere. I've talked to Kim about it. She knows we've got to pull together. Well, it seems to me the only kind of pulling she understands is the sort Tina Dingle's done with Frank. Yeah, I mean, Frank's always had a fairly liberal attitude towards his staff. I mean, Kim started out as his secretary, didn't she? Well, perhaps it is a business arrangement. I mean, after all, there is 40 years between them. Frank can't have any romantic illusions about the girl. Who said anything about romance? <laughs> I must buy you a drink to thank you for all your help. And apologise about all the gory details. Well, I've always been a bit queasy about blood. Just the thought of going to the dentist makes me want to faint. I never realised you were such a sensitive <laughs> soul. <laughs> Two gin and tonics and a pint of special, please, Alan. We were just talking about your dad's latest bombshell. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Well, taking Tina Dingle to the West Indies with him. <laughs> What's he up to, eh? I don't care what you say. I'm not wasting any more valuable drinking time. I'm going to walk back. I've just heard something. Oh, thanks for staying late, Betty. Oh, I'm just happy to see places are busy for a change. I'm sure it's all the good reviews from the gourmet nights that have brought them in. Well, <laughs> we're finished in the kitchen, and Alice thought you might like to try one of her fairy cakes. I help make them. Aren't you clever? Hey, how did you manage to get the ice in this lovely shade of green? Paint. Food colouring. Oh, well, thanks for the unpaid babysitting. You've kept her entertained all afternoon. It was a pleasure. We enjoyed it, didn't we, Alice? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happened to Nick. He's supposed to pick her up an hour ago. Oh, and that's probably my Seth's fault. He'll be getting him into trouble down at Wolper. <laughs> We've got them, Seth. Careful. Remember what happened last time. But don't scare me, Seth. Stop what you're doing and let that badger go. Not you again. You should have learned your lesson last time, shorty. Just shut it, you, and do exactly what I tell you. Otherwise, you're going to get both these barrels. Don't make me laugh. You haven't got the guts to pull that trigger. Probably ain't even loaded. Let's get out of here, Nick. Just let the badger go. Reckon he's looking for another fish supper. Give it to him, Jed. <laughs> No, you stay in Scarborough for the time being. Nick might try and phone you. Look, Mum, if he contacts me, I'll let you know. Hello, Tate's Veterinary Surgery. Linda speaking. How can I help you? Yes, someone will get back to you. Who is that? T Tina Dingle. She was going on about where your dad's dog's going to stay when they go away on holiday. What is he thinking? Striking a blow at Kim. Oh, I know how it must seem. I have got to talk to him about it, but 
He's got enough to deal with at the moment. But Zoe, your dad going on holiday with Tina Dingle. The Tina Dingle of the Dingle family. Linda, don't, please. But if they do go away together, what are people going to say? What's Betty going to say? What did Biff have to say about Nick? I oh, still don't know where he is. Oh, poor Nick. Was your brother in the habit of carrying shotgun cartridges with him? I'm sorry, but you're making him sound like some dangerous criminal. He shot and killed a man last night, Miss Bates. We're taking no chances with him. <laughs> but you must know what happened. Nick didn't shoot him down in cold blood. It must have been an accident. People who are involved in accidents don't usually take to the hills. Right, I'm on my way. I'll be about an hour. Right. Promise me you won't let them rip the thatch off the roof. It's one of the last unspoiled pubs around here. I promise. I'm a designer, not a demolisher. It's my job to improve buildings. Thank goodness I've caught you. I need a lift. Where to? Hotton. I'm sorry, I'm going the opposite way. Oh, everywhere seems to be the opposite way round here. No buses, taxis cost a fortune. If you don't drive a car, have a horse, you're finished. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, Susie. Anyway, why do you want to go to Hotton? I've got an appointment with the bank manager. Some of these houses don't have a downstairs cloakroom. No, I don't believe that. Are you be telling me next those guides have only room for two cars? No. I want an arger if possible. One that does the central heating as well as heats the water. We'll have to see what they've got to offer. The hospital scan should be priority today. One thing at a time, eh? What makes you think he's going to come up here, Seth? He knows that lots of Bobby's looking for him. I only hope he knows his mates are looking out for him. And oh, this is where I'd make for. Everybody has the fixed points. Animals and birds and all, otherwise nobody will find anybody else. We'll wait here a while till he comes to us. He ain't got much option. It's my own fault. I should never have relied on you. Right now, I'm the only one you can rely on, and you know it. Do you know what low-life perverts those badger trappers are? If anybody gets pleasure out of torturing defenseless animals, I'm going to worry about who they hurt trying to get away. Assuming Nick acted in self-defence. That or an accident. Either way, we should have had a proper security firm in that area. Not a pensioner and a gardener. Anyway, what's done is done. It's up to the solicitors now. I wonder where Nick is. Could be miles away by now. I'll bet he's not more than six, seven hundred yards. Not if he's got any sense. Well, you think about it. He's not a villain, so he's got no network to fall back on. He's no Seth who could live off the land. He's just a frightened lad with a young daughter to worry about. And we've got to do our best for him. Somebody to see you, Frank. Thanks, Tina. You keep me informed of everything that's going on. I will. Doesn't sound like he's too pleased with you. Don't you go winding me up. I'm onto your game and don't forget it. You've got me wrong. I didn't wish to wind you up. I just wanted to thank you again for that 20 quid you gave me. You don't know what you're taking on. You're trash. Whatever do you mean? And anyway, I didn't buy a suitcase with the money because Frank said I could borrow one of his. Real leather at that. Now instead I bought some nice, cool underwear. I might need it where I'm going, don't you think? Be very careful. I'm warning you. Yeah, I got these for you. Thanks very much, but you shouldn't have. Oh, I wanted to, you're being great with me. Only doing my job. But you are a bit special. I'll see you in outpatient soon. I look forward to it. Bye. See you. Thanks for everything. Man. She wasn't the only one to fancy me, you know. You cock a little devil. I'm glad I ain't missed you. How are you feeling, son? I'm all right. <laughs> She's nurses she should be worrying about. I'm missing me loads already. And how are you? Can I have one of these, Dad? No. Big? They're a pound each. Look, love, don't you think it'd be a better idea if you used to make a card for Roy? You know, rather than just taking it out of the shop. Make one? 
Get real, Dad. Don't be so tight. I told her she could have one, and that's that. The poor lad could have lost his whole arm. I don't see why an accident up at the Glovers has got to end up costing me money. Hey, watch out. You heard the news? Ah, yeah, poor Nick. He's not been caught yet. I've just been talking to a copper. No, no, he'll be all right. He's just had an accident and panicked. I'm on about the big news. What are you on about? Frank Tate is taking Tina Dingle away on holiday. He's joking. Where's Daddy? Look, I've told you, Alice, uh, he's doing something for Frank Tate. Betty said he was living somewhere. Oh, Betty's old and she gets things wrong sometimes. Are you hungry? Thirsty? Did I tell you about that steam cooker? A what? Why don't you sit down here for a minute and we'll talk a bit of business, eh? <sighs> steam cooker? It'll revolutionise your business. Change your life, in fact. And the cost? Well, new, about a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? Now, that could change my life. Will you let me finish? I can get you one for about 400, maybe even less. So what exactly does it do? Oh, what doesn't it do? It does magic. You see, Alice, the water goes in here. Or is it here? No, it can't be in there, because that's where the steam comes out. Or goes in. Anyway, the food goes... No, it can't go in there, because the door's over here. So we open the door, but not when it's on, mind you, because then the steam will come out before the food goes in. And then you know what'll happen. You'll end up serving steam soup in bowls. Have you ever tasted steam soup, Alice? It's not nice. I'm hungry, Seth. Come on, Nick. Time to go. Where's the gun, lad? I've hidden it. We've got to take it with us. Is he dead? since Alice was born has been for her good. And now I've gone and done this. I'm going to lose her, aren't I? Now, don't talk like that, lad. You shot a poacher at eat at moment. They'll treat it as an accident. Yeah, and if they hadn't have been after the badges, this would never have happened. They're going to give you a benefit of doubt. Uh, they'll know who I am, won't they? The coppers. Uh, the poachers, Biff. Suppose they take it out on Alice. Don't worry about her. There's police everywhere. Best bet is for you to get back as soon as you can and sort this out. They'll look after you and Alice. Need to see her before they take me away. They will let me see her, won't they? I don't know, Nick. But the sooner you get back there and sort it out, the better. Yeah, Seth's right. If you give yourself up, this is bound to go in your favour. Oh, I don't know what happened to me. It's as if I was dreaming. As if I was watching somebody else do it. I can still see him now snarling at me. <sighs> Saying I hadn't the guts to shoot. I just snapped. I couldn't take any more abuse. It was as if everything bad that had ever happened was staring me in the face. Come on, son. <laughs> Can you tell if it's going to be a boy or a girl? Would you want to know? No. Well, it's not natural, is it? And this is? Well, you know what I mean. I wouldn't mind a photo, though. You won't be able to make out what it is. I know what it is. It's our future. I want to show me, Mum. Yeah, it's no problem. You can have a picture. 
Now can we go and look for a house? Yes. I'm arresting you for the murder of Jeremy Connell on the 11th of April 1996. I need you do to not tell have to say that anything, me away. but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. She's only five for which God's you sake, and I'm a dad. In court, anything you do say, please, her mother doesn't want evidence. to know her. Take him away. Please, just let me see my daughter. Please. <laughs> Susie, what's wrong? What's happened? I've just met the most stupid bank manager in Yorkshire. That's what's happened. Oh, you didn't get the loan. He laughed at me, Emma. He won't even extend my overdraft. What are we going to do? I'm oh, sorry to disturb you. just came to say I'm going to see Dad. We'll see if we can get him bail after he's made a statement. I want all this sorted out before I go on holiday. Might be worth thinking about postponing it under the circumstances. Chris, after all I've been through recently, I think I deserve a break. And they do have phones in the Caribbean. Hey, you're going on holiday to rest, not to worry. Quite right. I'll leave the worrying to the solicitors. They can start right now. What sort of state was Nick in? I didn't see him. Do you want a cup of tea? There's one made. No. I don't know why you're being so funny with me. Somebody has to look after your dad. I'm being funny with you, as you put it, because I know your game. This must be like a dream come true for you. Yeah, it is. A luxury holiday in the Caribbean is absolutely fantastic. I'm earning me pay. Don't come the faithful servant routine with me. I know where you come from, what your family is. You leave my family out of this, no matter what you think of them. They're a degenerate bunch of inbred parasites and you're just a money-grabbing little tart on the make. If I was just that, wouldn't I have taken your bribe not to go away? You just think you can make more out of my father. There's a name for women like you. Chris, don't you dare talk to her like that. And trying to bribe her was stupid and pointless. She has a job to do. Look, I don't want you to be the talk of the village. I don't want you under pressure, especially from her. Oh, really? Then shouldn't you be encouraging her? I might just drop dead of a heart attack while I'm on holiday and then you can start carving up the cake. Dad, I'm only thinking of you. Oh, yeah. And those badger baiters are animal lovers. Chris, don't you dare talk to Tina or anyone else under my roof like that again. Right. I think I'll have my dessert now. You got a visitor? Who is that, then? All right, Roy, how are you? Oh, not so bad. My mum sent these for you, chocolates and flowers. Cards from me. Cheers. Sit yourself down, won't make yourself at home. Oh, <laughs> it's a big bandage, Roy. Ah, serious accident. On it, Dad? Yeah, it was. Who's uh... a picture of? I see, this is my own private nurse. Setting a notice off in Kelly. I said to her, is it right me having a bed bath twice a day? Roy Glover! Right, I'm off down at Sugden's then. Right. I thought you and me were all right now. You've still got a lot to answer for. Still stuck into that paper? What are you after? I'm just looking. Never known anyone like you for looking at the adverts. Where is everybody? Mandy's gone for some veg. The lads are out looking for somebody in case there's a reward, and uh, Tina's with a sugar daddy. He's not her sugar daddy. She's his housekeeper. Simple as that. He's taking his house to the West Indies, is he? He needs help while travelling. He's not a well man. Oh, and you believe that? I think you're stupid letting her go. I always say a man's a man who knows how to control his kids. Yeah. They've got him. Since when has any dingle done coppers work for him? Uncle Ishmael, we're always helping police with their inquiries. No. Oh, where have you two been? Out looking for Nick Bates in case of a reward after him. He gave himself up. Give himself up? He should have let us catch him. He would have shared reward. I didn't hear about any reward. I'm ashamed of him. I don't want to talk about it again. I feel sorry for the lad. And you want to talk to your Tina? No. Oh, uh, Tina, could I have a... a word? Degenerate. How's that to be going on with? <clears throat> Rest must have done you good. You're right. Yeah, that's about yourself. Yeah. Hey, do you want to see a picture of your future niece or nephew? David, why would he? That's a brilliant. Looks like a satellite picture of a cloud formation or something. 
I hope he's got no idea what there is in store for it. It's no need for that one. Well, we're talking generally, you know, wars, man's inhumanity to man, nothing personal. I thought you'd be looking forward to being a grandmother. Knitting matinee jackets and all that. She can't wait. Can you, Mom? No, lad. Like I've nought else to do. Kim was only making conversation about baby, that's all. Go and put kettle on. Must we stay for tea? Well, you have had a hard day with the scan business and trying to decide on a new house. Sounds like hell. Trying to find somewhere after living at home farm is, as you can imagine. Must be as big a shock for Tina Dingle moving up as it is for you moving down. How do you reckon she'll cope with this Caribbean holiday, then? She'll obviously be treated as a servant. Yeah, she'll likely end up the next lady of the manor. Tina Tate does have a... That sort of ring to it. Ah, a wedding ring. <laughs> How's Ned? Recovered from his binge yet? What binge? Mm. I don't know what you find so fascinating in these adverts, Marilyn. B day, seldom used. Safety gate and iron. Brackets needs attention for sale. They're all like that. I'm only taking an interest. I would sooner will find plenty to interest there. This is paradise. If your father knew his duty, she wouldn't be allowed to go on holiday. I just hope she comes back and doesn't do a runner on us like my mum. Don't start your brother in again. Hello, Sam Dingle. How may I help you? Swimming pools with a bar in the middle. Hey, Dad, can we build a swimming pool? I'll see if I can find one in these here adverts. Who's on the phone, Sam? No, it's what do you want? You phone me, Sam Dingle. And then I phone 1471 and then 3. Oh. Where are you then? Hey, Leeds United season ticket for sale. I'm not surprised. It's happened again, Dad. What's that? I've picked it up and there's been no one there. Mr Pollard told me this trick where you can find out who's been phoning you. That was some phone box in Northampton. Some bloke just passing by answered it. It's happened loads of times now. From Northampton? No, Plymouth first, then lots of other places. Like somebody was making their way up the country. And you've always phoned back? Yeah. It's a good trick, isn't it? It's not a trick, clothhead. Them calls have to be paid for. Oh, sorry. I can't believe you. What are you doing? I don't know, but I've got to do something. You've done enough. And why did you have to mention me dad getting drunk? To stop all that smug talk about Frank and Tina Dingle, they were making me feel about a foot high. Why should it matter to you who he goes on all day with? Oh, get real, David. Do you think I'm going to stand by and let that little trollop make a laughing stock out of me? If people are going to be laughing, they're going to be laughing at Frank T. Forget it. No. Where are you going? To put her in a place. And fathom her way through all this lot. Look, can I see him now? No, sorry. He'll be up before the magistrates tomorrow and we'll have to see how things go from there. What about Bill? To be decided tomorrow. How is he? So-so. His thoughts are all over the place at the moment. And he's very concerned about his little girl. Well, tell him not to worry. She's with Betty, a neighbour. Has he got a solicitor? One's well, been in touch. He's via Frank Tate, but Nick won't see him. Why have I not? Well, like I say, he's very confused and depressed at the moment, which isn't unusual. I'm sure come tomorrow he'll be more able to cope. In the meantime, there's really nothing you can do, and I'd advise you to go home. Do you want me to contact social services about his daughter? No. No. I'll look after her. Kim, leave it for now, will you? I'm not going with you. Please yourself. I've come this far and I'm not going back until I've seen her. Oh, God. How? This is going to be the worst place on earth. Your sister's been and gone, Nick. How's Alice? Somebody called Betty is looking after her till they get back. Does she know I'm in here? I don't think so. Your sister seems to have everything in hand. Thanks. Of all the things to do to get back at Kim, 
This takes a biscuit. Gina Dingle in the Caribbean? I said I'd make Kim suffer for what she did to me. Yes, but you didn't say that I'd have to endure the gossip as well. And Chris is apoplectic. Well, put him in his place. I know you can, Kim. And I want you to keep me informed about Nick. I want to show that loyalty works both ways. I wish I'd known what I was taking on with you as a father. And I wish I could see Kim's face when she finds out. Oh, it's Lady Muck. And she's been rolling it by the look of her. Ah, now we know how the odds and sods feel when Princess Diana turns up. Where is she? Oh, Lady Diana. Tina. I want to talk to her. Upstairs, sorting out her clothes for her holiday. We'll get her, please. And quickly. Hey, Lady Muck. You might have been our landlady once, but you know now. Ah, Tina might be our next landlady. Aye, after looking after your husband on holiday. <laughs> Would you like to try some turnip and sod soup while you're waiting? There's a fresh batch simmering. Hello, Kim. What brings you here, then? I think you know damn well. And don't think you're going to get away with it. Could somebody get in touch with Mystic Meg, then I might have a clue as to what she's going on about. Oh, you might well think you've won the lottery with my husband. You might have got the better of Chris and Zoe. But I'm in a different league, madam. And don't you forget it. Not from where I'm standing, you're not. All I can see is a bloated, pregnant woman covered in pig muck. And I'm not impressed or frightened by your threats. Now, I'm going on holiday with Frank. And I'm going to do my best as we both enjoy it. I'll have you for breakfast, you little scrubber. <laughs> I'll tell Frank that when we're having breakfast by the pool. Hey, make sure it's one of them ones with bar in middle, Artina. If you weren't pregnant, I'd slap you round your made-up gob and boot you right out of here. Shift it, Kim, before I lose my temper. I'd take you on any time. You ain't got Frank's cash behind you now. Are you going to have that father and daughter talk to her now? About her going away? Yeah, I've got a passport, haven't you, love? Aye. And who knows where it'll lead me to, Dad? in perfect health. What about the tests on the calf? Clear. I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Well, it didn't die of old age, though. Or BSE. I'll keep my eye on them, I promise. Now I've really got to run. Uh, more important clients, have you? No. After my rounds, I'm going to see the vicar, if you must know. I'll be having his dog collar put down. Hey, watch out for stray bolts of lightning, you. Oh. Emma and I are seeing him about arranging the blessing, actually. Oh, uh, I see. Right. Good luck. My passport! It was here last night! Oh, you're not seriously leaving me alone with this slot, are you? It's a Caribbean man's. I'd love to stay, but you can get too much of a good thing. Well, why don't you slip me into your bag and sneak me onto the plane? Because excess baggage would cost more than flight. <laughs> ha, ha. You're not coming back, are you? I'm not going at this rate, Sam. Do you know, I bet that floozy's nicked it. Probably know someone who can sell it on black market. We know someone who can sell it on black market, love. Morning, Petal. Me ears were burning. Has my Zachy been singing me praises again? And you can take that off for a start. That's me mum's. You want to learn some respect. And you want to learn when you've outstayed your welcome. You haven't accidentally nicked my passport by any chance, have you? What, and stop you from going? Well, if I hope, No, I'll get me kit on a nip to the village. 
I can't bear long goodbyes. We've noticed. Stay here, Artina. It won't be the same without you. Right, Sam, hand it over. What? Sam, now! I didn't want you to go. I'm only going to be gone for a fortnight, and I'll bring you back a great present, I promise. Hey, don't forget my duty freeze, will you? A gallon of Ilandi Beverly Hills. Perfume of the rich and famous. Hey, Mandy, I can't show our tea in the suitcase. Will you come upstairs and sit on it? I'll sit on you. I'm not open yet, son. Hi, Kath. I just come to wish you luck for this afternoon. Time's with you in court. Um, I don't think now's really the right time to discuss this, Dave. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Um, what I really wanted to say was if you wanted any moral support or anything, you know, I'd be happy to come yeah, with you. thanks, but that won't be necessary. And I'm not sure Nick would appreciate seeing you there anyway. No, I suppose not. If you change your mind, yeah? Ah, Dave. Shouldn't you be signing on or something? I'll be thinking of you, both of you. You would employ a doorman. Give away the undesirables. You can barely afford the chef. All set. Don't really have much choice, do I? I'm sorry I can't be there. I wouldn't want to keep you away from your son, Tan Frank. Look, Cathy, he's got the best brief I know. I don't know what more I can do for him. Yeah, of course. You'd be very helpful. Thanks. I'll phone from the airport find out how it's gone. The case is due to be heard this afternoon, Nick. Your sister's bringing me in a change of clothes for you. Great. Because right now all I'm worried about is what I'm wearing. Nick, half the battle is knowing how to play the system. Look, four of the cases before yours are all repeat offenders. No hopers up before the bench every fortnight. They'll all be remanded. They're not you, Pop, all smart and respectable, and the magistrate grants bail just for the novelty. Yeah, well, you'd better be right. Because I have to get out of here. I want to be home in time to put Alice to bed. Well, I have to level with you, Nick. In a murder case, it's not usual for the defendant to be granted bail. But we've got a very strong case to argue. Too flaming right we have. That bloke was scum. It was either him or me. Listen, you were just doing your job when things got a little bit out of hand, that's all. It was a simple accident, remember. You're no danger to anyone else. I've got a little girl to look after. She needs me at home. Surely they understand that. Of course they do. And we've got every reason to be optimistic. Believe me. Every reason. You're not going up to Dingles again, are you? Yeah, next time I go up there to be with a bulldozer. No prizes for guessing where you've been. Yeah, for all the good it did me. Nick's a murderer. Nothing you say to Cathy will help him now. Well, she's not to blame, though. We can't just turn our backs on her. Very noble, David. But she's got a new little friend to play with now, so don't waste your energy. State agents, you coming? No, I'll give it a miss. Well, don't forget we're seeing a place this afternoon, and I want you with me, David. Choosing where we live's a job for both of us. Aye. I'll see you later. Huh. There's Nick Bates languishing in jail, and here's you two carrying on as if now to happened. How are you going? Debt collecting. The Glovers need a little chasing. They'll be busy with Roy's accident, won't they? Yeah. I want to make sure our back's covered on that as well. Oh, I'm sure they'll be delighted to see you. Look, I don't want the tenants taking advantage just because my lunatic father's off to Fantasy <laughs> Island for a fortnight. <laughs> you think that him and Tina are at it? Why not? First a job, then a free holiday. Tina Dingle's living proof that crime does pay. Oh, hi, Kathy. Come in. Hi. Uh, sorry to barge in like this, but uh, I have a favour to ask. I just don't think I can face sitting in that courtroom on my own. Oh, Kathy, you should have said. I'd be pleased to come. Actually, Rachel, if you can spare him, it's, uh, it's a quiz I wanted with me. Prison sentence doing the world of good. Finally knocked some sense into the lad. Yeah, it didn't seem to work for Sam, did it? <laughs> did? Oh, the brilliant time. Yeah, but that's not really the point, though, is it, Sam? Things just haven't gone right for Nick since Alice's mum left. Mum, I'm abandoned me and her. Now, Tina's off. And my dad went away. Yeah, but he came back. All's a pity. Uh, a two pound form card, please. That's all right. Six coins, our form. It's out of order. No, it's not. What would he know anyway? I don't even think he knows what it's for. I do. Are you buying that or just browsing? A big. And the paper, love, please. Oh, yes, I'll go around here, isn't it? 
Old Farm Garden in Shockham Murder. Yes, well, one can suddenly see the attraction. Sorry, dear, I'm already spoken for. Bye, Sammy, love. We shouldn't be too long, but if anybody asks... You're out on your rounds. And any emergencies, just refer them straight to the hot... Hot and vets, yes. I have done this before, you know. I know, I know. Oh, Linda, the Sugden's cup. Are you quite sure we sent off the right samples? Zoe! They were the right ones. Will you stop fretting? You're not really going ahead with this stupid idea, are you? Oh, don't you start. I haven't got the time. I don't know why you can't just carry on living together like most couples do. Because we've been doing that. And it's not enough anymore. You look really lovely, Zoe. So do you, Em. Well, we'd better get going. You're not nervous, are you? Well, it can't be every day the vicar gets asked to perform a lesbian blessing. You both look perfect pillars of society. <sighs> well, at least Zoe's broken the ice over the phone. I mean, it's not like we're turning up out of the blue. I bet you he was stunned when you asked him, Zoe. Um, yes. Um, you have warned him what to expect, haven't you, Zoe? <laughs> he does know about us, doesn't he? Zoe? But I wish you'd just get rid of the thing, then. It's been now what trouble since the day you bought it. I will, as soon as I can find somebody to take it off my hands. Oh, what the blooming hell does he want? <laughs> Three guesses. Morning. Morning. Chris, what can we do for you? Just came to check everything's all right. You've all recovered from the accident. Yes, thank you. Good. You can start worrying about the rent again, can't you? Right. That's the reminder. I'll bring it round later. Hey, Mum, can you open these for us? Oh, you couldn't be more helpless if it was your head that were gone. I might as well come and cook it for us. Can't hope Pam and stare at the same time. Shouldn't you be back at school? Can't write, can I? I don't suppose you can kiss goodbye to your finger painting. Burn them all, Mr Tate. Was it very painful? No. Blood everywhere, though. Slush them on tie if you want to come and have a look. <laughs> Roy, just take these and pour them out and I'll be along in a sec. Of course, you've reported the accident to the health and safety. Why? Because it happened on Tate land. I don't want to be held responsible for our tenants' criminal incompetence. I just wish I'd have taken Nick more seriously in the first place. Neil, yeah, lad, it weren't your fault. If it were anybody's fault, it were mine. Nonsense. No planning for vermin like that. It could have shown up anywhere. Truth be told, I wish Nick had bagged a lot of them. Yeah, but if it had listened to me, he wouldn't have had to. He should have just let the coppers deal with it. Listen, I want you both to take the afternoon off. Be in court for Nick. What about the office? Lock up and put the machine on for an hour, but don't take advantage of it. Thanks, Mr. Dear. And tell Nick from me his job's safe. I'm proud to have him on my workforce. Yeah. Come on, man, you've got to look on the bright side. How? Our team has gone to Paradise Island for a fortnight with a millionaire, and I'm stuck here in Woolpack with you. I don't think there is a bright side. Look. I'll take you away from all this one day, I promise. We'll have our own little paradise island. You? You can't find your way past Connelton. Hey, you're talking to the man who built his mum's dream garden in one day. And it made her happy, did it? Well, I don't know, cos she didn't hang around to tell us. Cheers, Alan. I must say I'm surprised to see you here, David. I thought you'd have the decency to support Nick in his hour of need. Well, you're going then, are you, Alan? <clears throat> no, no, I've got a pub to run, but I, I shall be there in spirit. Aye, me and Al. Here, Dad, I'm feeling a bit faint, right, so I reckon I need a brandy or something. No man faint. Get this shandy down here. Go on. I'll give you a brandy. Yes, Butch. Uh, have you got a bottle of some Caribbean-like to take out? Well, I've got a bottle of dark rum somewhere. 30 quid, man. Why? Well, me and Mandy, we're having our own holiday. Can't a girl find any peace around here? It's all right. We're going in a minute. Where's your dad? I don't know. And don't you be hurrying back to the house, right? You must be joking. Thank you. Large vodka, please, gorgeous. Chris is right, you know, Ned. We should have reported that accident. And it's too late now. He'll cheer up as soon as the rent's paid and it'll all be forgotten. This is Emma Nightingale, my... No groom? Not exactly. Um, we... You must be the maid of honour. Come in, come in. Always good to bring along a friend. I hope this doesn't mean the groom showing early signs of nerves. That wouldn't bode well at all. There ain't out funny going on between you two, is the lot? Dad, what do you take me for? <laughs> Look at this place. I'd hardly blame you if there was. Well, there isn't, <laughs> and there isn't going to be. 
So how come he's flying to the other side of the world, then? Eh? He must want something for his money. He does. Company. Hey, <laughs> and the rest. Look, Dad, I don't think it did his ego much good, Kim leaving him. Taking me is like showing himself and everybody else that he's still got what it takes. And has he? I don't know, and I've no intention of finding out. Dad, we're mates. We have a laugh, that's it. Well, if he comes home in an air ambulance, I'll know you were lying. <laughs> All set? Yep. <laughs> She's an innocent lass, Mr Tate, despite appearances. Uh, where is Zach? I'll look after her. <laughs> Good luck, lads. See you in a couple of weeks. Dad, we're flying club class. Hey. <laughs> Make sure that's the only club you get yourself into. As you know, I'm also responsible for St Margaret's in Houghton, so I'm not yet familiar with many of my parishioners. I take it you and the groom do attend St Mary's. Reverend Burns, I think there's something that perhaps I should have mentioned to you on the phone. Yes, I think you should have. Oh, I wouldn't worry about regular attendance. It's starting to become a little too much to hope for. The blessing. It's for Emma and I. We're a couple. Oh. I did wonder... Not that it's in any way obvious. Not that there's any reason why it shouldn't be. Oh, dear. I'm not doing very well. Perhaps we ought to start again. Hey, you need a tropical paradise when you've got Hotel Dingle. Oh, no, it's great. I really believe I'm there. <laughs> hey, are you ready for another rum and stout? Oh, go on, then. Smile, me. <laughs> what a great idea, right? I'll be James Bond lying on a beach, and you can be that Ursula Undress wading ashore, swinging your pineapple. Spots. Don't put your luck. What's going on here? We've created our own little tropical island paradise. Hey, and it's even better than our Tina's. Sand everywhere. <laughs> You've both gone flaming mad. There you are, Zach. I've been looking all over for you. At the Cobra, Cobra Cabana, music and fashion, we're all They've gone stir crazy. At the Cobra. Well, can't you stop them? I fancy a bit of peace and quiet. Well, do you now? Why don't you just beg it off back to where your flaming came from? Hey, that's enough. No, it's about time that somebody told her. You don't own this place, you know, and you better stop lading it about like you do. Butch, I'm warning you. Yeah, go on, hit him, Zach. Yeah, go on. Hit me. Just like your fancy piece says. But I'll tell you something, Dad. My mum would never have asked you to lay a finger on your own flesh and blood. Never. Come on, we're going out. We've only just got in. Come on, woman! Brilliant. Yeah, what you needed to say. Oh, you've done all this for me. All dancing and stuff. I just wanted to cheer you up. It's not fair, our Tina, having all the fun. Oh, you managed to get rid of the Wicked Witch for a bit. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. How good? Well, uh, who are you way over here, big boy, and I'll snog you. Really? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I have to tell you that I am not unsympathetic to your position. But? But this is my first parish, and I really don't want it to be my last. Does that mean you won't conduct the service? There are several factors to consider. The bishop's reaction, as well as the other parishioners. I imagine there would be some hostility to a blessing. Yes, that's a fairly safe bet. I'm not sure the bishop will go a bundle on it, either. Well, we wouldn't want to get you in any trouble. But I'm not sure that I see any way round it. Well, thank you, Reverend. I'm, I'm sorry that we've wasted your time. Unless, of course, we could keep it our little secret. 
Right, lad, we better get going. Yeah. Hey, up. A lock office up meet you right front. So what are you doing here, then? We need to get away from Kim for a bit. Things aren't going too well at the moment. Well, I never thought I'd hear you say that. It's what you chose, though, isn't it, Dave? I'll see you. Hey, I wanted to be there for Nick. Cathy made it quite plain and won't be welcome. That's hardly surprising, is it? Biff, I'm not proud the way things have turned out. I wish you could get back to how it used to be. Me, you and Nick, we used to have a right laugh. Yeah, but she's changed you, Dave. I didn't even know you anymore. Well, I didn't know myself. Let's get off. How are you feeling, anyway? How oh, Linda says that you're blaming yourself for what's happened to Nick. Yeah, well, I think we can both take a bit of the blame for that, don't you? Well, I don't think I can forgive myself. Turning me back on me mates, not being there for him when he needed me. Could never see further than Kim. Yeah, yeah, and if I'd have been a better mate, I wouldn't have even let you go near her. I'll see you. Hey, if you get a chance, wish him luck for me, yeah? Yeah. Is your husband not coming with us? I doubt it. He's on his way to the Caribbean. My boyfriend should have been here, though. All oh, right. Shall we uh, wait a few more minutes, then? What's the point? He's probably just sitting in the pub. Let's get on with it. Right, well, as you'll see, it certainly lives up to its billing. There are eight bedrooms, so plenty of room for all the family. Kathy! How's Nick? Absolutely fine. Can I see him? Not until afterwards, I'm afraid. All being well. So, um, what do you think is going to happen? Well, as you know, this is simply a hearing to grant bail. I mean, he's got a very strong case, which I'll put as best I can. Beyond that, it's out of our hands. Shouldn't you two be at work? Who's man in the office? Your dad gave us off to Nuinov. And I'm taking it back. Now get off and do some work. Chris, I think Nick would want them to be here. And so do I. Half an hour. Oh, no, it's that lot. That lot, I'm sorry to say, are the Connells, relatives of the deceased. Nicholas Bates, court number one. Nicholas Bates. Here we go. You think he'd have plenty to smile about? Why is that, Terry? Well, I would go home to his missus every night. Yes, but look at the price he's had to pay. What do you mean? He's hardly a picture of content, is he? Where have all his friends gone? But it go. Exactly. While he sits alone staring into his beer. Hi, gents. Hi, David. So, can me and Susie be bridesmaids, then? <sighs> Will you be throwing the bouquet, Zoe? Uh, who says Zoe's having the bouquet? Now, now, girls. Mm. It'll be over before the honeymoon. How did he take it, then? Uh, amazingly well. Mm. Once he'd picked himself up off the floor. Oh, but he said he'd do it. Whenever we want. He had this way of lighting up the whole room with a smile. Why is it that all the men I've ever known spend the whole time talking about their wives? It's very unattractive. Lads miss her summit rotten. Yeah, she was more than a mother too. She was like a moral guide through life's dense jungle. Her going seems to have driven them back in, Matt. You want another drink, Nella, look? Yeah. I'll have a large vodka, Keanu. You are Mr. Nicholas Bates of Nursery Flat Home Farm, Emmerdale? Yes. You are charged with murdering Jeremy Connell on the evening of the 11th of April, 1996. You may sit down. Your Worship, given the serious nature of the case and the fact that the witnesses may be at risk of harm from the accused, I put forward an application that the defendant be remanded in custody and not be granted bail. Your Worships, my client was going about his lawful business, protecting his employer's property at the time of the alleged offence. The deceased was no stranger to this court on account of his violent conduct, and indeed my client must have feared for his own life. My client is a single parent with a previous good character. Should it suit your worships, his employer, Mr Frank Tate of Home Farm, has agreed to stand surety to whatever sum you may decide upon. Thank you, Mr McLaughlin. 
Where the hell have you been? I needed some time on my own. And I needed you to look at a house. Instead, you left me hanging around for ages and made me look a complete fool in front of the estate agent. I'm sorry. You may be perfectly happy to live in this dump, David, but it's driving me up the wall. How was it? It doesn't matter what I think of a house. I want it to be your decision, too. It was Nick's hearing this afternoon. Somehow we didn't think looking at houses would be that important. I don't believe it. There is nothing you can do for him now. Frankly, I'm surprised he knew one end of the gun from the other. For God's sake, Kim, doesn't anything get through to you? Do you not let yourself think for one minute that all this is your fault? You put the guy in hospital, you drove him half mad with your threats to Alice, you took away any self-respect. And what really gets me, Kim, is the fact you did it all for your own entertainment. The guy wasn't even a threat to you. David! If anything happens to him, it's all down to you. There's no one else to blame. I hope you can live with that, because I'm not sure I can. Mr Bates, will you stand up, please? Whilst having considered your previous good character and your ties within the community, the court is nevertheless satisfied that given the circumstances surrounding the allegations, you should be remanded in custody for your own protection until a date can be set for your trial. Yes. <laughs> I am obliged to, Your Worship. You, can, you can't do this. You can't do this! What about my kid, eh? Thank you, Mr Bates. I've got a little girl. You can't do this to me. Please, she needs me at home. She, she needs me. May I remind you this is a court of law? Listen to what she needs me. Kathy! Kathy, say something! Kathy, say something! Get off me! I had to kick you out of bed last night. So did half the country, I bet. Mm. Chicken shout, come Marilyn. Mm, so can you. I thought someone was being murdered. Well, my fault. She thinks I'm murder money. She wants me to buy these daft leather pants, she's seen. Oof, nearly 300 quid. I've got 300 pence. Pants? Oh. I... Like Elvish wore, you know, white with, um... Butterflies? Fringes. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, she's always wanted a pair like them. And now it's my fault she can't have them. She took you out of bed because of Elvis's trousers. Ah, oh, here's her favourite. Are you sure she hasn't escaped from somewhere? Right, I've done all the invitations. Uh, can you deliver those and I'll post these? We're going to Houghton. Getting Emma's outfit. Don't worry, Zoe, I'll make sure it's stunning. Susie always had a wonderful eye. Yes, I noticed. Well, it's good to have another opinion. She always stops me getting something totally unsuitable. Does she? If you need any help with your outfit, Zoe, just ask. Uh, no thanks, Susie, I'll be fine. Right, we better get off. See you later. Susie and Emma used to go out together, didn't they? Yes, they did. And don't you get jealous? No, I don't. Oh, this is more like it. Mm -hmm. That's sure.
As you can see, Mr. Tate, the uh, the hall is imposing, but tasteful. Glover. Pardon? My name's not Tate, it's Glover. Oh, sorry. Uh, this way, Mr. Glover. This place is huge. Oh, we've got to have somewhere for the child to play. On the ground floor, there are three reception rooms, a dining room uh, and a library. The kitchen and laundry are contained on one side of the courtyard and the swimming pool is on the other. Swimming pool? With a self-contained flat above. Perfect for the nanny. No, we won't be needing a nanny. We will definitely be needing a nanny, David. I can assure you of that. This is ridiculous. We don't want to live like this. We just want an ordinary house. I want to live like this. This is how I live. Can't stop. Just leaving you this. Oh, what is it? An invitation. Oh, nice. What to? A blessing. A what? A blessing. Emma and I are celebrating our relationship with a blessing, and we'd like you to come. Would you? Oh, look at this, Vic. Isn't it pretty? Pretty? Zoe and Emma invite you to a... It's in church. That's where you have blessings, Vic. Blessings? You want us to come and stand in a church while you and Sounds Emma... Sounds lovely. We'd be delighted to come. Thank you. Right. Where should we be going? Bye. Bye. What is it this time? Ned's paid the rent. I know he has. He paid it to me. I called to see how Roy was. Oh, it's fine. Good. I'm glad. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, have you um, reported the accident yet? Not yet. We've been busy. Anyway, Roy's doing all right, so there's no need to report it to anybody. I'm sorry, Jan. Home Farm has a reputation to protect as a good employer. We all have to obey the law. Oh, we just haven't got round to it yet. Let will report it as soon as he gets the chance. You better. I don't want to have to waste my time coming up here again. Our time's valuable too. Even if we weren't born with silver spoons in our mouths. Oh, you should stand for election, Jan. You'd probably get the student vote. You're so clever, don't you? Compared to some people, it's hard not to be. Oh, well, tell Ned there's some gardening work going on at the estate. Now that Nick's left us, I think he'll probably be interested. Monday. You can tell me. Is there something I do that upsets women? Something I don't know I'm doing? Ah, of course not. It's just some women are a bit fussy. Ah, I'm Marilyn's fussy. She don't deserve you. Uh, Marilyn, love. Mandy. I've got to get them trousers. Didn't get no sleep last night. Really? What a shame, wasn't it? Your turn to have the bed then. With that Marilyn shouting at me dad. Should have heard him. <laughs> I can imagine. Poor Zach. <laughs> dad ended up sleeping on the couch. Did he? Uh, oh, Terry, yeah. Uh, Jen not coming in. No, she's working tonight. Why'd you want her? Oh, not important. I'll catch her later. Come on, drink up. You've had lots of women, haven't you, Mr. Pollard? Ah, depends what you mean by, uh, lots. Why do you ask? Do they all shout? Come on, will you? We're we'll getting them trousers if it kills us. It probably will. Why do you use what? Because I do. So shut up, morning, and get in. Oh, sorry, I asked. I thought I told you to fix this. Yeah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes with you. You born idol. I'll take after me dad. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No! It's a winged wonder. Da -da 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 -da. The Farsley Flyer returns. Will you stop that? I'm back at the team. What team? Well, Farsley, of course. That was club secretary on phone. It's Jackie Harry's testimonial, and only the best will do. And you're the best, are you? Well, I've had my moments, Al. I've definitely had my moments. Well, would you have your moments behind the bar serving the customers? That's what I pay you for. What's wrong with you? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Terry. No, I, I'm just worried about Nick's little girl. I, I shouldn't take it out on you. Congratulations. Thanks. See, I can't help feeling if I'd have acted differently, none of this would ever have happened. Oh, come on, Big Al. You didn't shoot anybody, did you? 
No. But I feel responsible for that family. I, I am Alice's godfather. Nick's no criminal. He should be looking after his little girl, not rotting in a prison cell. OK, Bates, visit. Hello, Nick. Thanks for coming. Are you all right? I don't know what I am. Oh, Nick. Everybody sends their love. Alice. She's fine. Does she miss me? Of course she does. I miss her. Oh, Cathy. I don't think I can take any more of this. The solicitors are trying to get you out. It just takes time. <laughs> time? That's one thing I haven't got, isn't it? But it's what I'm gonna do. I've ruined everything, haven't I? Everything. Nick, you can't... Cathy, just face it. I didn't go through a red light. I killed somebody. They're not just going to slap my wrist and then let me go free. There's one good thing about being in a place like this. You get a lot of time to think. Thinking's what I've been doing, believe me. I don't know what happened to me. I just snapped. I just let everything get to me. But now you suddenly see how important it all was. And it's too late. Because I'm going to lose the most important thing of all. My freedom and my daughter. You haven't lost her, Nick. Believe me. I don't want Elsa to take Alice. I'll never see her again. But she's a mother. She doesn't have a mother. She's got a father. And I'm in here. Well, we've not been able to contact Elsa. No one knows where she is. Good. Because she mustn't take her. Whatever happens, Cathy, you're the only person I can really trust. I want you to look after Alice. Me? Your family. Please, Cathy, for Alice's sake. Them there. Look at that leather. I could polish that all night. It's all rack of them over there. You can't nick them. Eh? Why not? Because they're chained to the rack. You have to get the assistant to unlock them. Oh, that's not fair. Well, you might as well go home to the lovely Marilyn now then and live with a disappointment. Hey, hang on. Nelly taught me there's always a way to her best shoplifting family. Now, what would she have done? Don't they look bonny? A lovely Betty. How'd it go? Awful. It's a dreadful place. Here, come and sit down. I just can't bear to think of him in there. I'll make you a nice cup of tea, love. How is he? He's lost, I think. I mean, he's run away from reality for so long, hating, resenting most things. Now he's starting to realise what's been taken away. <sighs> that place. 
sound, the smell of it, the heat, everything's so clean and... I think I need to shower. He, um... He made me promise to look after Alice. What? He's terrified of losing her. And she's a nice kid. He made me promise to look after her if he stays in prison. But how... I couldn't do anything else. He's my brother. Alice is my family. What about Elsa? Shouldn't Alice be with her mother? Yes, yeah, she should. But the state Nick is in, he'd probably kill himself if Elsa took her. What about your mother? He wants me to have her. Nobody else. Don't you get any time to think about it? There's nothing to think about. I don't have any choice. Maybe it won't come to that. And maybe it will. I love Alice dearly, but... I certainly wasn't planning an instant family. No. Anyway, there is some good news. We're fully booked tonight. Yeah. yeah, you can help me. No, she can't. I'm just looking at you. Suit yourself. OK, a plan B. You go over there and start a commotion. Well, what shall we do? Mandy will distract the boat. You have a fit or something. I can't do that. Eh? Well, do something. Start singing and dancing to music. I don't know the words. Well, sing something else. Oh, look, it'll sound rubbish. I don't care. Nice jacket, mister. Thank you. My dad had one just like that. Did he really? Mm. I always thought it was dead sexy. Did you? Mind you, that's before I knew what sexy meant. Now, now. That's good. Maybe you'd like to explain it to me. Mm. I think you're up to it. Oh, I am that. Well, a one for the money, a two for the show, a three to get ready. Now go kick, go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Or you can do anything. Hey. I'll lay off of my That's blue suede shoes. Oh, he's got oh, it. Oh, 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 hey. Hey, hey, we'll catch we'll him. We'll catch him. Stop it, Nick. Nick tells it. Stop him. Why didn't you stop him? Oh, yeah, he means. Call the police. Oh, oh, it, uh, not me too well, I'll be, I'll be getting him up. Not done! They've got Elvis! My Cyril Swabler, I did see him in Woolworths. No, I never believed him. Come on back, honey! Elvis! They've got me, Elvis! <laughs> Hi. Zoe, we've had a brilliant day. Uh, we must have been in every close shop in Yorkshire. Well, some even twice. Beat. And did you get it? Oh, we certainly did. Wait till you see it. No, you can't do that. It's unlucky. You have to wait till the day of the blessing. Oh, don't be silly. I'm not being silly. I want to see it. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> well, that's just the top. It's beautiful. I told you. You'll look wonderful. Do you really like it? I love it. Right. I'm going to try mine on in private. See you later. Is something wrong? No. There is. I think I'm being silly. Try me. I just feel left out. You spent the whole day with Susie and I should have gone with you. I said it was silly. Well, you should have said something. I just presumed you were busy today. Doesn't matter. Oh, come here. Come on. You do still love me, don't you? Of course I do. Oh, hey, he's <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Do you like it, John? Right. I'll be there at nine o'clock. Look, the back, I've got to go. Got the trousers. <laughs> what did I tell you? Your every whim is my command. Zach, I want it. Was me. Who is that? It's Elvis! Is it? You yeah. got the trousers. Did you nick it? No, thought you might like the whole thing. So I bought it for you. Why not? Zach Dingle, you're a rogue. But I like you. Thank you. <laughs> My dad's kissing. <laughs> hey, I'll be doing plenty more of that before night, eh, won't I? You will, that. Tell you what. Why don't we have a night in the wool pack? We can get something to eat down there. Save Mandy cooking. Oh, great. Yeah. Have a few drinks. Get in the mood for later. Mm, we could. We could. Come on. No, no, you all go on. I'll uh, catch you up. I want to have a bath. Make myself presentable. I might even slip into those trousers for you. <laughs> I love leather. Oh. So do I. We'd better go, Aye. Dad. Aye. Before he has one of his turns. Aye. We'll see you in a bit. Can't <laughs> wait. <Ooh. laughs> hey, it's. Family. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Come on, you're at the pub. <laughs> Betty, when I ring the bell, you come and get the food. You're supposed to be serving the customers, not chatting to them. Chatting? I'm running off my feet out there. It's table four ready. Well, of course it's ready. They've been waiting for ages. But why didn't you tell me? I can't do everything. Here, table three. Get them out. Get them out! There's no need to shout. Look, they're getting cold. Will you move it? Oh. Alice. I couldn't sleep. Betty... Come here, sweetheart. Where's my dad? I've told you before, he's had to go away for a little bit. Now, come on, let me take you upstairs. I'm not going. I'll come with you. Tuck you in. Come on. I want to stay here. Well, just for a little bit. Now, you promise not to get in the way, yeah? I won't. <laughs> How would you like to help your Uncle Sean? Can I? We'll get you an apron, shall we? Yes. Where's the girlfriend tonight, then? No, oh, she'll be down later. Get myself dolled up. What for? Me? He's on the promise. Is he? Yeah, well, you better take it easy on this stuff, then. Will you shut up? What's up with you? What's up with me? I don't want you making smutty comments about my Marilyn here. Ta. She's a very sensitive woman. Who is? Marilyn. <laughs> She's about as sensitive as a dead dog. No, don't you start. When she gets here, I want you all happy and smiling. Make sure Marilyn has a good time. She's my woman, and I'm her man. Everything all right for you here? Well done. Now come along and be bed. It's good for you. How are you doing? You all right? Right, Kathy. Two hot plates and two duck garnishes. Coming up. Is the sauce all right? Yes. Calm down. It's ready. Here you go. Okay. There we go. There's one. Excellent. And there's oh, yeah, terrific. the other. Excellent. Garnish. Garnish. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Come on, Betty. <laughs> Thanks, sure. It's, it's all right, we'll be finished soon. No, I'm not, and absolutely shattered. And if Fancy Pants in there rings that bell once more, I will swing for him. Oh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, well. Perhaps he's not all that bad, really. 
You like Marilyn, don't you, Butch? No. Yeah, you do. I don't. Not do I. Who cares? I care. I mean, you know I love Nelly. And no one would ever mean the same thing to me as your mother. Uh. Ever. You know that. It's just that I might want to settle down again sometime. Wonder what you thought. You want to marry Marilyn? No, no. I was just wondering. No one in particular. But I mean, you never know what might happen, do you? What about my mum? Huh? Oh, forget I said anything. Sorry I spoke. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs>